In the previous episode, we defeated our final mech boss, which was the Destroyer. We did it using the Daedalus Stormbow, and I was feeling pretty good in the last episode. Today, I'm drained, <laughs> and I didn't get a chance to do anything that I wanted to between episodes. Um, but I think I think the goal now is because we have killed that uh, final exo uh, boss. Sorry, mech box boss. I was thinking the exo mechs for whatever reason from Calamity. Again, super drained. We'll get to that in a minute. I think what we're going to try to do is get some life fruit before doing this uh, stars above boss. I think that's kind of the, the plan for today. Just do a little exploration, try to finish upgrading our stuff like the frost spark boots are going to need the do, 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 where is it? the uh, lava waders so in order to upgrade to get lava waders we get water walking boots so we can make the obsidian water walking boots like there's a lot going on there right so that's kind of the, the goal is get some of that figured out and i was just finishing off that that uh solar eclipse that we left off on which of course there's nothing i'm gonna get out of that but you know it's, it doesn't really matter much does it i don't think there's any loot down here although now that i think about it one of these nerds may have a bunch of gold. Maybe not. No. Okay, cool. We're good. <laughs> so I probably should put that creature from a deep thing back on somewhere else. Oh, yeah. That's right. All of our poor NPCs are like not just dead. They're all like uber dead. So we're starting off from like a really annoying spot. Um, and we need to get them to respawn. So I may just go spelunking in the jungle, like right off the bat in order to just move on. But we also need to make, you know what? Let's, so I'm not being assaulted and I can't even use this. So let's head down. And from here, we will be able to teleport to the jungle, but we need to make a couple weapons, right? We need to make, um, was it that one? Or was it the blasting force of nature? Is that the one? Yeah, force of nature was definitely one that I wanted to do. Um, there was a, like two ranged weapons, right? I thought so. Piracy? Maybe that's what it was. Here, we're getting to our, our house that's here underground. Where am I? I can't see. Ah, I'm stuck. Okay. <laughs> Let's go and do the gun lance. Is that one? I don't think so because that was, that's a melee weapon. Um, this one was the range weapon, the saltwater scourge, right? We don't have the coin gun, so I can't make that. Can I actually make a coin gun? If I have a pirate captain banner or flying Dutchman trophy, which you know what? I may actually have, so I might be able to make that kind of cool weapon. Um, the renegade one is the other ranged weapon. We can make this. We've got uh, everything we need for that. So maybe, maybe we make that one instead. So why am I drained? It's just one of those days, you know, I just, I just got started on other work. Um, actually the most exciting thing, <laughs> it's not work related that I've been doing for the past 48 hours, not straight, but just intermittently is, um, so, so I've mentioned before that me and my stepson, we play Star Wars Legion, it's a fun little miniatures game. Great. Love it. Um, I typically play Republic. I like the clones and everything, although I have collected just about everything. Uh, so I've got I've got a lot of minis, a lot of unpainted stuff too. And oh, by the way, while we're down here, what we're going to do, because we haven't, I, we have explored the jungle. The, don't let this character fool you. We had to, if you're new to the channel, welcome. We, we had to remake the character due to some weird glitch that ended up happening um, or unintended interaction. I think it's a better way to put it. So we have more of it in, we have more of it unlocked here than it looks like. But what I might do is go make a spot for um, for life fruit to start growing. I think that'll be the best thing to do. So that way we can start getting that and start just uh, rocking. And I may just dig straight down for that to be perfectly honest because I don't I don't necessarily think I want to go to a place that I've been. Cause we're also looking for those water walking boots, boots rather. I think it'd be in essentially any, um, any water crate. So I think we're just going to plan for that. So we're going to dig down as I finish telling this a little story. So yeah, we play Star Wars Legion, a lot of fun. And I typically play the Republic the clones, but he is really into, oh, we needed this, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> stupid thing um 
he, he's really into the, the droids, the, the separatists. And you know what? I get it. They're, they're, they're kind of cool. I, I get the appeal of General Grievous. I get the appeal of the droids. I get the appeal of like Darth Maul and whatnot. Like there's a lot of really cool units you can have in that game. Um, but I have, I've painted a lot of my units. I've not touched his until yesterday. I finally sat down and took his, uh, took his droids and decided to paint them up. So I, there is, uh, for, for those of you who know about the game, oh right, we haven't made the actual pickaxe for the chlorified either. Um, for those of you who know about the game, there is a, a thing, it's a unit, a unit is just a group of, of your dudes together. I'm gonna make this pickaxe. Do, do, do. Uh, what's it called? Hallowed pickaxe. I can't even, I can't make a pickaxe. Is it ham axe? Pick saw? Goodness, it's some tool. Get away from here, you, <laughs> you demon. It's attacking me. Get out of here. Okay. Uh, if I go to tools, I might be able to find it. Range, melee, tools. Is it, is it here? Oh my goodness. I swear, if I can't make one of these, I'm going to be really annoyed. How do I not have enough hallowed bars for this? All right. I, I have another way of checking for this. <laughs> this is going to be weird, but in order to check the recipe, I'm going to go here, which is going to put me here so I can go to hallowed bars. What is it to make the pickaxe? Am I crazy? Where is the pickaxe? I feel like I'm going nuts here. Like I'm looking straight at it and I'm not seeing. I see the Drax, the pickaxe axe. Oh, is it because I don't have souls of might in there? Ah, that's that's probably what it is. Okay, okay, okay. I think we figured it out. Um, the pick axe axe is not here. Why? <laughs> Game, what are you doing? What am I missing? I'm missing just a tiny bit of hallowed bars. That's unfortunate. You know what? Uh, can I make a mechanical anything? Can we summon a boss? We can make uh, we can make the skull. Do I have enough time? I don't even have enough time to do the fight. All right, look, that's gonna be that's gonna be a new thing that we do. And I still don't have enough NPCs here, so I have to go down. <laughs> so, anyways, you have units. Uh, a unit is a collection of of dudes, and in this case, the a unit of B1 droids is nine dudes. So I painted three units of B1 droids. So that's 27 dudes and a unit of B2 droids. It goes up to 32 miniatures. Um, it's kind of in insane that I've been painting over the last 48 hours. I, again, I haven't been doing it straight. It's just been off and on as I've, as I've tried to get it done. Um, 30, 32 miniatures and that is really draining in a weird way. I mean, it's like super satisfying. I don't, I mentioned, you know, I, I, I like painting before and I, I, am, I am a commissioned painter. It's something that I put a lot of time into, but I didn't think that I would like um, painting robots from Star Wars, just the droids, but they, they come together really easily and they look really good. Um, I'm gonna end up posting pictures of it on my Instagram when I'm done. So if you if you don't have that uh, link or you're not on Instagram or anything, I'll I'll mention it again and I'll just put a link in the description uh, when I end up actually posting that. But yeah, that that has has drained me in a weird way. My eyes feel like really tired, <laughs> not because I've been like staring at small miniatures. Weirdly enough, it's actually because. Oh, I don't want to fight you guys. Get out of here. It's actually because <laughs> I'm, oh gosh, these guys are so annoying. I'm, I'm sitting there with like really bright lights and it's, it does kind of exhaust my eyes a bit. I'm not a fan of that. So my eyes are really tired. And then on top of that, and this is where the actual like work exhaustments come from. I was doing uh, some stuff for my business today. So on Etsy, you have listings, it's kind of like you, what you're selling, you, you list it. Um, and in order for me to list miniatures, 
and do all this stuff. There's a lot of extra background work I need to do because, uh, you know, I, I use a license in order to sell these things that other people make and I, I pay for those licenses, but they don't, they don't give you really any information on the stuff or like a suggested retail price. Like they, they leave that up to the, the sellers to figure it out because, you know, they create miniatures. They don't, they're not trying to like market them and sell them. Like if you worked in a retail store for a grocery store, for instance, when you get, uh, <laughs> this is a weird analogy, but when, when you get like a thing of oranges or whatnot, or like a, a box of cereal from like Kellogg's and you're working at a store, y you have a set price that they tell you, oh, look, Queen Bee, uh, <laughs> How nice of you to join us. They, they tell you what that thing is worth and how much to sell it for. And if you're working in a store that is selling like goods and not just, just like food or anything, they also typically have like a minimum sale price that you can, you can ever hit. Um, and that comes from, uh, a lot of weird concerns about like devaluing goods and the, the video game industry is notorious for this. Um, although that has gone down over recent years. So PlayStation or Sony rather used to do that a lot, which is why uh, Nintendo is absolutely notorious for, it, which is why you don't see their like games on their stores ever hit a certain point. It's just that's they, they want there to seem like there's a lot of value in their games, which is why they never go on like super deep discount. You know, you could pick up Terraria for like two bucks at any given point, or maybe even less of that sometimes. You can't do that for, I don't know, Super Mario, whatever the newest one is. Why is that new one? I don't remember. Well, you can't do it for Mario Party Superstars there. That's a better way. To, that's a better example. Like the lowest that game is I've ever seen is like 30 or $40. Um, so when, when I'm doing all this background work on listings, I don't like, I don't get information from these these people who are making the miniatures being like, hey, we suggest you sell it at this price. And the result is I, I have to go in and figure that out. And it's like, that's a really complicated calculation. <laughs> I, I have to go in and determine how much my, how much material I'm using to 3D print said miniature, right? I'm also using uh, my time and energy, literally like like power. And so I have to calculate all that into a, a price that I'm then going to utilize. Oh, the automaton is wrecked. I think that I have one more NPC maybe and we'll be able to teleport back and forth from our like home base. So it takes a long time to go in and figure this kind of stuff out. And it's just more agitating than anything else. And it's, it's a lot of admin work and that's, that ain't my jam. I, and I recently got my wife helping me do that because I have over 250 listings at the moment that I'm trying to, to get up on the site and it's just draining to organize all that in the background. And then you have to create SKUs, SKUs, which is like a, a number that you can refer to um, on inventory management. Now I, I print all my stuff on demand, so. I don't I typically have to worry about in inventory, but it helps for um, other software that I may use in the future. So I'm future proofing myself in that regard rather than um, making it more difficult. And then <laughs> you also have the issue of um, like, how do, how do you determine your prices versus everybody else's? Like that seems like a really th easy thing to do, right? If other people on Etsy are selling the same miniatures. You just, you just go look at their stuff and undercut them a little bit, right? Well, no, unfortunately not. This isn't World of Warcraft on the auction house where you can go undercut somebody by one copper and, and your thing will sell. No, because you, you do have to calculate a bunch of different factors that that other person may not calculate for or is calculating incorrectly and you don't want to lose money um, on on any of your things that you're selling. So you want to make sure that you're doing it properly. And like for, uh, here's a great example, because I don't have anything better to talk about while we clear through here and wait for things to, to respawn. I have 
uh, an FDM printer, a plastic printer that I'm printing terrain off of and everything else is um, resin. So resin is much more detailed. Plastic is, you're going to see layer lines. It's just the way that uh, fuse, fused deposition method, <laughs> FDM printers handle it. It's, uh, that's your, what you typically think of a 3D printer. That's usually what it is, is an FDM printer. And that, those things take a lot more time than my resin printers do, significantly more. So like when I'm determining how, how much to sell a giant piece of terrain, like multi-tiered piece of terrain that's got like, um, different levels on it and takes like nine or 10 different separate prints just to make, you have to go in and this is, it's getting to my point here. You have to go in and like figure out the time it takes versus the materials versus all this other stuff. And I came up with this really fancy calculation a couple months ago that I'm now utilizing for all this stuff. And I, I did my first one of all this new stuff. I'm getting up on my shop and I was like, how, how close am I getting to everybody else's like general price on this stuff? So I get it all figured out. It took, it took like over an hour to do like this huge breakdown of a bunch of different pieces of terrain. <laughs> and then I go on Etsy. I'm like, how close is it? Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Like the exact price that everybody else is listing it for. So either they're doing the exact same thing or I just kind of stumbled upon greatness here. Why is this not opening? Is it because they're, oh, that's weird. I just think I've, I've seen that where there was a bit of terrain there keeping it from happening. Um, I'll take the gold. There's really nothing else that I want. If I just loot all, it'll it'll take all that stuff. I don't need the suspicious eye. I don't need any of that. I am getting kind of down in here, and I haven't been keeping an eye out for uh, life fruit. It takes a little bit for it to start spawning to begin with, so I haven't even been wondering where it might be. But we did find our temple, so let's head back. Now that we have some NPCs here, we can actually kind of do stuff. And I can sell some stuff too, which is even better. So let's get rid of all of this stuff. Um, do I need an anklet for something? No, I already used that. Gotcha. Okay. Couldn't remember. S some mods use it for other stuff. Uh, okay, we'll get rid of that relic. I'll keep the mithril. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take those vines back. You never know. Get rid of that and that. I think I'm going to hold on to the rest. Let's dump it in. And yeah, I want to make which weapon was it? Was it this one? I believe it is, because I got that mini shark. Um, so we're gonna pop this in here. What's it called? El Capitan's. I'm not seeing it here. Um, there it is. So I need that laser rifle. Did I sell the laser rifle? You know what? I might have. Crap. <laughs> Can I make another laser rifle? treasure bag. I'd have to kill a wall of flesh. And we've just killed the mechanical bosses, which means everything in the underworld is now spawning more difficult stuff. So that makes it a little bit more annoying. There's a piracy one. That is, that is, that is really annoying. All right. I'm going to drop all this stuff in here. Boom. Did I have anybody to talk to? Um, no, she doesn't have anything for me. Cool. 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 All right. What I'm going to do, I think, is jump cut um, to either the evening where we're going to fight another mechanical boss <laughs> or I'm going to go down into the hallow and try to find a summon for the queen slime. You know, I totally forgot that these the, these uh, Fargo's mutant mod NPCs actually are here. So like I could summon Skeletron Prime for instance or any of these whenever I want. But there was also the ability to summon a hollow chest, which honestly, that would have saved me some time. And look, all the events and everything are here too. I always forget that that actually exists. It's, it's odd, but yeah, it, it, it eludes me. So I think um, I've also had people recommend that I turn on some of the other spawns. I think, um, yeah, I've got the lumberjack turned off and I've got the squirrel turned off. 
but both of those things I, I could have turned on and and use their stuff like the lumberjack for instance just sells wood which is really nice in a in, in our situation where I'm just not using that much wood so maybe maybe I turn that on for the next next playthrough I'm kind of happy with with what we got going on okay so it is now evening I could do another hallowed boss and or not hallowed boss mechanical boss Again, my brain is just gone today. Um, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm not too shy about um, crafting one of these, like the mechanical skull. However, I kind of just want to fight the destroyer again because the destroyer is really easy. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's get that. Let's go back here. Got this adamantite that I'm just like holding on to apparently. Uh, unfortunately, the last time I did this, all my NPCs died, so I might end up in the exact same position I did before. Let's do it, though. Here we go. Oh, wrong one. No, that's also the wrong one. There we go. Uh, this time, though, I actually have the full hallowed set, which is not something that I had last time. So I got my, my shadow dodge capabilities, which is really nice. Do I need it? Hmm, probably not, but, you know... It, it helps. It, it kind of ensures a victory as opposed to screwing myself over a little bit. The fact that I've looped this guy over on himself multiple times here is really nice for our damage. It means it's a, it's a lot easier to hit with this particular weapon. I'm saving all those hearts. Man, this boss fight's like way easier. I think I'm just going to jump cut it. Losing was never an option. Wow, that ultimate ability was insane. That did so much damage when I did that at the right angle. <laughs> Jeez. Um, this trophy can be placed. That's nice. I don't think I'm going to end up using it, really, because it's not a material. Uh, let's dump this stuff in here. Let's dump that in there. I'm just going to keep it, maybe, in case I make another house. It's unlikely. Okay, now we can make the pick, right? Pick. There it is. The pickaxe axe. Um, which means we can actually get rid of our axe <laughs> and we'll put that there we'll get rid of the pickaxe cool feeling a little bit better about that um let's see what else do we need to do i still gotta kill the queen slime i just can't find a summon for her it's really annoying honestly and then we have to do the uh the stars above one so we've got the pickaxe now i think what i'm gonna do in between episodes is actually just sit in the world and let time pass for a bit so we can go get some life fruit then we're going to do that boss the, the stars above boss and hopefully by sitting in the world i get another um gelatinous whatever it's called what is it called uh gelatin crystal to spawn because <laughs> i'm just having the hardest time finding them i'm like going down there and breaking crystals and everything i just cannot get one to spawn it is so annoying 